Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new solo, do or trio size base design for you. The down features three unsplashable compound roof bunker, a mini china wall, a spacious mini open core, a bunker starter base with honeycomb all around. and a white gap shooting floor including three unsplashable roof bunkers. The starter footprint is cheap and simple to build as well as easily expandable. The base is already secure early on in a wipe and defendable in every building stage. But before we start with the tour, I wanted to thank you all for your support lately. And if you like my videos, I would be happy if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you are interested in more content like actual wipe and gameplay videos, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to my second channel. I'm currently testing this design in a wipe and the video with this face should be out in a few weeks. The channel link is in the description. Let's talk about the upkeep and build cost real quick before we get into the tour. The upkeep is only 9k stone, 7k metal and 65 hqm per day. To build the space you need 54k stone, 41k metal and 500 hqm. And now let's dive into the tour. I built disconnectable bunker TCs but you can build any kind of TCs you like. We have space for a battery or some boxes to split up your loot. The upkeep per TC is roughly 2k metal if the base is fully upgraded which is super cheap for a base like this. In case you get raided and need to replace your main TC, you can easily disconnect the externals by placing a foundation right here and a roof on top. The frames will break and you can replace your TC. We're entering the compound through this airlock, with compound retake peaks on the left and right. They might be helpful in online raids to gain back compound control. The entrance is covered by turrets from both sides, which makes them kinda annoying to destroy. We also have these outside roof peaks on each side to get rid of door campers for example. There are three simple roof bunkers inside the compound in case you are looking for more offline protection. It's just a simple way to increase raid cost by splitting up your loot. Or just playing mind games and let the raiders waste some rockets. Over here we have a simple compound bedroom with base for a locker and two beds. There are window peaks on the left and right into your compound for quick respawn and defense or just to get back to your fights quick. Entering the mini china wall, we have these shotgun traps to prevent people from going deep. Jumping up here, we have insane early outside peaks with a perfect view all around your compound. It's also pretty useful in early game before you're able to build the compound since you get great wide angles. And we have a drop box up here. We also have these outside roof peaks on each side, like the ones I used in the compound. You can easily hold every angle inside your compound and stop people from reaching in. And we have some more drop boxes above. We enter the base and second layer through this airlock. The core is covered by turrets behind ram peaks which makes it hard to breach for raiders. There are three large loot rooms, space for a back and a workbench. The starter core is bunkered to increase raid costs, especially early game. It's a simple offset bunker which works perfectly with the new box method. I already used it in my last build. Down here is enough space for a start. You can fit 4 large boxes and some electric furnaces. The core is of course fully honeycombed. Up here is a little bedroom area and an additional loot room for some extra stuff. And 2 vending machines for even more space. Now we enter the white gap shooting floor. We got the ramp peaks for retake and inner peaks down into your mini china wall. These roof gaps give you some sneaky angles all around. And the roof gives you even more wide angles.
There are three unsplashable roof bunkers with space for two large boxes each. Up here we have roof peaks to defend top down rays and turrets which are covering the roof. The turrets also cover the shooting floor, which is great since turrets are limited on PC. Jumping up here, we have a roof peak behind the store, which can be super useful against the right base. You can easily hold the beach without getting shot from outside. The roof is pretty simple. It's covered by two turrets, but you could place four in total if you prefer. There are these classic roof peaks on each side, which I still like a lot, because they give you a great view all around. And in case you need to get down fast, you can just jump down here inside your compound without getting any damage. And now I will show you how to build this base. Let's start with the starter base. We simply build a circle out of triangles. This foundation needs to stay twig. Now we are already building the offset bunker. Build a triangle and a square. Now place a small box on each side. If you are unable to build a box because the foundation is too high, simply upgrade the foundation to stone. Then you can place the boxes and later destroy the foundation. You can also do it without the boxes, but it's easier with them. Destroy the twig. Now let's place the foundation. It might not work on the first try, but after a few attempts, everyone should be able to do it. If the lower wall has 87% stability, it's placed correctly. The triangle floor must be attached to the half wall. If the floor has 10% stability, everything is correct. If you can't place the bunker triangle, you probably build the foundation too high or too low. In that case, try again. Here we can build a door. The left wall has to stay wood for now. Now we build the footprint and the mini open core. You can honeycomb the triangles. You need to build the floor now, you won't be able to build it later. The half walls are used for connection.
Don't place a floor here, otherwise you won't be able to open the bunker anymore. This triangle high foundation is important, the others can be low foundations. Now you can destroy the wooden wall. Next we build the multi TC and the external TCs. After building this triangle, go out with four squares and finish with another triangle. Go back with triangles. Go out three squares and end with a triangle. Go back with triangles. If there is a small gap here, everything is correct. Now we build the external TC. Build walls on the left and right. Now build a freehand foundation. On the right side the wall must be attached to the other wall. And on the left there should be a small gap. If the gap isn't too large and the wall has 77% stability, you can upgrade. Now we do the same on the other two sides. Here we can add an airlock and an additional loot room.
Next, we build the mini china wall. Now we build the shooting floor and the bunkers. At this spot we put the bunkers.
If you place the boxes like this, they won't be visible. Now we build the roof. Now we build the compound bunkers and the compound. For that we build a square and six triangles. Add triangles on the left and right for help. Go to the right side and try placing the free end foundation. If the wall has 78% stability, it's correct. The wall must be connected on the right to the other wall. And on the left, there should be a small gap. Now we replace the square with a triangle. We build the bunkers on the other two sides as well.
Now we build the gatehouse. Now I'll show you the windmill and turret placement. 